Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying the connection with addition and subtraction, or the connection between addition and subtraction. And you already know about that quite a bit, so this lesson should be quite a bit of review, maybe a little bit of new. I drew here what I call a bar model. It's basically, you can imagine like a board or a stick that is 590 units long. And then it is cut into two pieces. And one of them would be 350 units long and this one would be 240 units long. So in total, they make 590 units long board. And now we're going to write an addition from this, which is, of course, 350 plus 240 equal 590. And then we're going to write two subtractions from this. Remember fact families? This is the same idea. I'm going to write two subtractions. I start with the total. If from the total I take away this part, then I have this much left. Or if from the total I subtract this or take away this part, 350, then I have 240 left. And then, of course, there would be another addition if you switch these numbers. 240 plus 350 equals 590. Over here is a bar model that needs filled in. And I wrote here one of the subtractions that matches with this bar model. So now what? Okay, maybe we could solve the subtraction. If nothing else, 67 minus 39. Okay. Think of 40. 40 is an easy number. 67 minus 40 would be 27. But I subtracted one too much. Okay? I subtracted 40. And I should have subtracted 39. So the answer is one more than 27. Or 28. Now, maybe we can figure out where the numbers would go in this bar model. Which number goes where? What would be the total? What would be the total length of my board, so to speak, or this bar model? Wouldn't it be the biggest number I have? 67. Okay, that's how I mark the total length. And then, of course, the two parts would be these two numbers. 39 and 28. And now I will also write the addition over here. 39 plus 28 equals 67. And the other subtraction... 67 minus 28 equals 39. Over here, in this bar model, I have a question mark, an unknown, okay? This is again a little bit of algebra. 218 is one part, and then there's another part, and the total is 750. So I can write an addition with the unknown, like this. 218 plus the other part, which is a question mark. And then the total is 750. Okay? This should also remind you of the how many more additions that we have studied. It is a how many more addition. Or an addition with an unknown. And then I can write subtractions. And they start with the total. From 750 I can subtract 218 and I would get the unknown. Or... From 750, I can subtract the unknown, and I would get 218. If I want to solve the unknown, if I want to find out what this question mark stands for, then I would take this here. I would subtract, right? Let's do that. 750 minus 218. Over here, 0 minus 8. Need to regroup. Yep. And then we get 2 and 3 and 5. So this unknown here is 532. So we just did a little bit of algebra and equations. Now just a little bit of a reminder again. The difference of two numbers. It means how far apart those two numbers are from each other. What is the difference of 512 and 849? How far apart are they? I can solve it in two manners. 
One is I can subtract the numbers. Let's do that. Let's subtract. 849 minus 512. Wow, we have really easy numbers. So the difference is 337. I'll show you also another method, and that is that we use addition for finding the difference. We add up and think of it as if you were on a number line at 512 and you start like making jumps towards 849. So how many jumps do you need to make? You're adding from 512 to or until 849. And Think of it this way, 512, so maybe you take a big jump of 300, and so you land at 812. Then from 812, you take another jump, maybe, okay, you see there's 40 there, so you 30 more would take you to 842, and then 842, and 7 more. Aha, there we go. And so what is the difference now? We're not yet quite done, right? I first made this kind of a jump, and then this kind of a jump, and then this kind of a jump. So I need to add my jumps, and the difference is 337, just like we got here, of course. Okay, Matthew, here's a word from for you, or about you. Oh, he's saying he knew that, yeah. A computer cost $439, and a flash drive, $22. Matthew has saved $350 and he wants to buy those things, right? Yeah. What do you need a computer for, though? Oh, he wants to play math games. Should have guessed, I guess. How much more does he need to save? So you have saved $350. You want to buy those two things. You don't have enough, Matthew. How much more do you need to save? What shall we do to solve this problem? Matt is saying he needs to earn more money, he needs to go work. Right, that's what you need to do. <laughs> but what are we going to do to solve the word problem? We're going to first take this and this and add. Why is that? Why do we add this? We want to find out the total price of what he wants to buy. So here we get 11, and then we get 6 and 4. So he needs to actually have $461. He only has $350. So now we need to find the difference of these two numbers, the difference of 350 and 461. Again, you have two ways of thinking. Subtract or add, add up. Now, they're not too difficult for me. Mental math gives me that there's 111. The difference is 111. But I will also show you the subtraction. 461 minus 350. Okay, you subtract. Here's 1 and 1 and 1. So, Matthew, you still need to save $111, okay? Okay. Well done with this lesson.